There is so much salt on my forehead. I could season pasta, you know, before you boil it and you put all that salt in. I could do that. The Berlin Marathon. One of the preeminent athletic events in human history. And one of the few of such caliber that would let a schmendrick like me join in the fun. The festivities begin with the expo out at the former Tempelhof Airport. This place was built by the Nazis, can you tell? And used for the Berlin airlift after the war from 1948 to 1949 to fly in food and fuel from Allied air bases in West Germany during the Soviet blockade. After it closed in 2008, the surrounding runways and green space were turned into a city park and the airport eventually became home to the Berlin Marathon Expo. There are all the usual accoutrements at the expo. Things, stuff, and headless monsters frozen in time forced to shield tech tees, shorts, and shoes for all eternity. Me? I'm not much of an expo guy. Just give me my bib and leave my wallet alone, thank you very much. I just want to get home, carbo-load, and rest. Good morning. Today's plan is to do a little shakeout run this morning, and that's about it. Grocery shop, make some pasta for dinner tonight, and rest and relax for the big day tomorrow. I'm heading out with Melanie's group of lift run perform runners visiting from as far as San Diego to Maine. She takes us through our usual stomping grounds in and around Folks Park Friedrichshain with the Neo Baroque Märchenbrunnen spitting out water like a pro. We end at Zacharias for a coffee and a slice of toasted banana bread, continuing the final stretch of our carbo load. Speaking of carbo loading, I'm making my pasta with Sicilian pesto and eggplant that's become a go-to weekday meal that I make at least once a week. You can find the recipe for that on my channel and get a taste of my Sicilian travels from earlier in the year. And now, it's face stuff in time. Good morning, it is marathon day and I'm here making my carb heavy breakfast of oats and bananas, Heidelbeeren, which are basically a kind of blueberry, cinnamon, and oh, and peanut butter some chia seeds, and that's about it. And then, you know, cook that up with some water. Um, so we're going to finish getting ready, got all this done, uh, then we're gonna head out soon to start heading over to the start line and go run a marathon. You know, that thing that famously killed the first person who ran a marathon in Greece, went along with tens of thousands of other people. Cool. This is Osa's race mantra. Today, I will be strong. Today, I will trust my training. Today, I will rock, walk under the Brandenburg. Not walk, I will <laughs> run under the Brandenburg gate. Plus like 300 meters. Today, I am a female goddess warrior. Queen of all that I survey. Enemies, Enemies of fairness and equality. Hear my womanly roar. <laughs> Did you just drop something? <laughs> Transit's a bit altered on race day, so we opt to meet up with a running friend who's done all kinds of runs with us from the Haas Mountains and Spreewald in Germany to Greece and Austria and take the U-Bahn to Alexanderplatz. Which, judging from the crowds, is a bit of a mistake. The trains are wildly packed and people are just monsters shoving their way onto the train, nearly swallowing an innocent bystander in the process. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait,
Incroyable indeed, sir. We bail on that plan and head upstairs where three different S-Bahns are running to the Hauptbahnhof main train station. Hardly a runner in sight, and we can even grab a seat. Moral of the story, don't always trust Google Maps. From Hauptbahnhof, we make our way across the German Reichstag and the Platz der Republik, winding our way over to the start line with 47,000 other runners from 156 nations across the globe. Shuffling up to the start, I could sense what it must be like for a cow heading to slaughter, or a lemming mindlessly walking off a cliff. Except, unlike the cow or the lemming, we fucking paid to do this. <laughs> There are few greater feelings in the world than rounding the corner onto Unter den Linden with the Brandenburg Gate in sight and the crowd continuing to celebrate each and every runner, even though the elites have long since showered up by now. Across the finish line, the zombie shuffle through the exit begins, but not before grabbing that glorious little medal. All right, while we're waiting here for the rest of the group, we can do a little retrospective on the Berlin Marathon. Um, you know, when I agreed to run this a year ago, we were with some friends who ran it at a beer garden, and Melanie and some others started saying, let's run it next year, let's run it next year. And there was a little momentum there. I wasn't nuts about doing it, but I decided to do it. And I'm glad I did, because whenever this time rolls around in Berlin, it's just 
just a very special time in the city and you, you want to be part of it, so I'm glad I did it. Also glad that I surprised myself and beat my previous PR pretty solidly. It was 3.54 before and just did it in 3.38. So yeah, and I also feel a lot better than I did last time. Last time I sat down and couldn't get back up without fear of passing out. Now I feel okay. So, once the others get here, shall begin the rest of the festivities, namely drinking beer in a beer garden. With the group reassembled, we slowly make our way over to the Zolpakhoff beer garden so I can eat all of the food and drink this beer that's bigger than my head. Cheers to Berlin, the marathon, and doing hard things.